Alrighty guys, this is Thugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. There is no tank that's been more copied and pasted than the IS-3. You have the IS-3 Defender, the IS-6, the IS-5, the Glacial, the Object 252, the WZ-112-2, the Type 57, the Skoda T-56, the TNH-105, the slash a thousand and this tank the t2020 each of them has their own unique strengths and weaknesses the standouts being the object 252 with its crazy armor the type 57 with its good gun depression good armor troll gun and the skoda t56 so what about this tank the t2020 is it any good well let me give you a review of the tank and then we'll jump into three games today Overall, I'm going to go with good. It's nothing right home about, but it's definitely a solid tank. What about the gun? I'm going to go with very good, actually. Why? Because it seems more reliable. I don't get as many troll shots from this gun than some of the other variants. Armor. I'm going to go with good. It's not very good, but it does have decent gun depression, if I'm not mistaken. As for maneuverability, I'm going to go with good. As you can see, there's nothing about this tank that really stands out, but put it all together, it just seems to work quite well. It doesn't have the armor of the Object 252, but it works. It doesn't have the gun of the Type 57, but it works. This is my loadout. I'm going for refined gun and the calibrated shells. I'm tempted to change to hit points, but I go with armor. I don't know. Test it out, see what works for you. Anyway. If you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing. It's just a click away and it really does help the channel. You can also like this video and comment down below. What is your favorite variant or least favorite variant of the IS-3? I'd love to hear from you. For all my subs, I would like to say thank you very much for helping this channel grow. If you want to take things one step further, you can become a Patreon. There's a link in the description below as well as a one-time donation. Thank you for everybody who sent in those donations. It really helps this channel. Anyway, let's take a look at the lineups. They have a WT Ritter, dangerous, and a Mill, dangerous, and Object 252, dangerous, Object 752, super dangerous. But they have one weak link, and that is the Panther 88. Definitely not one of the stronger tanks, and it's the only medium. Hmm. Unfortunately, uh, we have a Glacial, not the strongest tier 8 tank, and myself. As I said, I'm a good tank, it's not a great tank. I definitely give them the edge. And object 752 can cause all sorts of trouble. So you know what? I'm going to head over here and hopefully get rid of the Panther 88 and then swing around. Okay, there he is. The question is, does he have support from the rear? Is the object 752 coming from behind? Let's find out. Okay, dum -de -dum -de -dum. there's one guy on the other side. Generally speaking on this map, the bridge is the key because you're allowed to pretty much shoot anywhere on the map from this position. So here we go. Now the WZ120 GFT or 1GFT, whatever it's called, is punishing or going to work on the Panther, but he hasn't pushed in aggressively. Nice move because you can never tell who's behind them. But I should get an easy shot in here. Took a hit for my trouble, but I think that was a good trade. And he is a one shot. So we should be able to get rid of him. And T minus. Oof. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, now I'm just going to swing around the back. And thankfully, their team has not pushed aggressively on our heavy tanks. Ooh, nice shot in there from the WT. So good thing our team didn't push in too aggressively right off the bat. I'm going to see if I can get an HE in here quickly. He's running. Boom. Took a nasty hit, but I also punished him. And now they've all been lit up, pretty much. So, here we go. Now, I could have stayed on the bridge, but I wanted to find that WT, which I figured would probably be hiding at the back somewhere. The other option is an AFK, which is just free damage. This guy's in all sorts of trouble, but I wasn't able to hit that shot, unfortunately. They know where we are, we know where they are. The question is, who's going to take out who sooner? I'm gonna swing around with the WZ120. He's a good player, and he's gonna punish the Ritter here, hopefully good. And I can load my HE and 
put him on fire, that always helps. Now, WZ120 is down to a one-shot, but he's not hiding. I love that. He's punished them from distance. He's got great camo, and look at this. He's still pushing him. It's 4v4. We really need to get in there. They do have quite a lot of hit points to get through, especially in those two tanks. So, got to take out those. Okay, good. We took out that guy, and can we get rid of the object 252? Then we should be golden. Aiming in, aiming in, aiming in, aiming in, and nope. But I did track him in place. Okay, can somebody else take him out? Come on, let's get rid of him. Come on, we need to get rid of this guy. Would be nice. He's coming in, he's coming in, he's coming in hot, and he's gone. So not the best move, 252. You really should have sat back or gone the other way around. So now it's two versus four, or three versus two, I should say. Okay, I'm going to swing around here. I don't want the WZ to die. I would like to keep him alive, so I'll take a hit. Come on. Oh, but I don't need to. Nice and easy. So, 3v1. I've got hit points. I really need to push in. Everybody else needs to just kind of chill for a second. Look at this WZ. I love it. He's just holding back just before he goes around the corner. Uh, I'm going to cause all sorts of trouble for the Emil then. The Emil is a little bit sluggish with its turn rate. Boom, he could have hit me. He's just ignoring me, but why, I do not know. Maybe on a long reload. And yep, I got banned for a day for telling my team that they were Nimrods. Oh well, what can you do? So 2,212 damage, a solid game. Nothing to write home about, but typical of how this tank can perform. And WZ, great job. Moving on to our second game, we're on Normandy. They have a 53 TP, dangerous, Aquila, dangerous, a WZ-120 GFT, dangerous. We have a G-Sor, okay, we have a Hawk, okay, we have a Yo, okay, I give them the edge. I would love to take out a tank early on in this game, and I think we might have a chance up here. I don't usually go to D, but I'm up here anyway. The T-34-1 is going to get the base cap, that's nice, the Yo is going to support him, so I'm going to support both of them and somebody's in C. Maybe if we work together, we can take him out. But which tank is it? Let's find out. Okay, the Yo's been lit up. I'm just gonna keep on going. Come on, guys. Let's work together here. Let's find out what we got. Now then, which, ooh, is the Keeler. Now that's a little bit dangerous. Gonna aim in here. Nice. And here comes the Yo. Boom, boom. Nice, so. I tracked him, and here comes the G, sir. Oh, yeah. So the Keeler is getting absolutely wrecked. He tried to side scrape, but now he is poof. Vapor. So that was very nicely done, guys. Great teamwork. Doesn't always happen. Now we got this guy. He is in all sorts of trouble. He's going to get gone really soon. Here we go. Boom, boom. I'm just going to continue on round. Yep. As you can see, quite a mobile tank, considering this is a heavy tank. In the beginning, I said that there's nothing that stands out about this tank, but together it just seems to work. The 53TP doesn't have any support, so I'm just going to push in hard here, Let's see if I can take him out. Come on guys, work with me. Boom, took a hit from my trouble, that's worth it. He's down to one, maybe two shot, depending on the gun that hits him. He's backing up. I'll take another hit here, if I have to. Boom. Oh. So, as you can see, I out-reloaded him, and he is gone. And would you look at my team here? We're all pushing in, working well together, like a wolf pack. Absolutely fantastic to see. Doesn't often happen, but when it does, it's a thing of beauty. Here comes the LTTB. I'm pretty much alone, but who cares? He's a medium, I'm a heavy. Come on, oh, give me a nice shot. And I bounce a shell. <laughs> Got another guy coming in hard, and I bounce another shell. <laughs> Gonna take a few hits here, but who care? Oh, another bounce. So that's three shells in a row. Very nicely done. AMX doesn't have the best armor. Gonna HE him. Boom. Okay, not the best, but oh well. And nice, keep him stuck there. Can we get rid of him? Absolutely we can, and they're down to one tank, and it's all over. So an absolutely lovely game. Great teamwork. Fabulous work, guys. I mean, it's like I sent out little telepathic messages to them. 2,120, not a bad little game if you ask me. Came in third, 
T34-1, great job. And moving on to our last game. Look at the lineups. Well, they have a Tortoise, dangerous. A Type 68, dangerous. A Yag type very dangerous. An ISU, also very dangerous. A T77, very dangerous. So, yeah. We have WZ120GFT, good player. Same guy I played with earlier in the first game, I think it was. So, I can rely on him. But I definitely give them the edge. They have a stack lineup. Uh, the worst tank they have is the Panzer, I think it is. So I'm going to head over here and spot for my TDs. Can we find anybody to hit? Let's see. Here I go. Um, Got to be careful of those big guns, the ISU, the Tortoise. They can absolutely shred. So let us see what we can see. Heading up over here. Haven't been lit up yet. Okay, I'm making my way up to the hill and... I'm going to hold about here. Okay, one tank's been spotted over there. Don't have a shot. Two tanks over there. Not going to push over, obviously. Mm, missing four tanks. Where are they? Hmm. And what have we here? Mr. WZ121GFT decides to take the sneaky position. So that's nice. Always appreciate someone going there. That is one of the sneakiest spots on this map anyway, if not the entire game. It's definitely a pro position. As you can see again, this gun does not really work from distance. There's the T-77. Okay, that's good news. Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. Don't have a shot in. And we're gonna be down a tank pretty soon if we're not careful. Yep, looks like he's not going to last long. Okay, I'm just gonna aim in here. Can I hit him? As you can see, again, not able to hit anything. So, not a great start to this game. We're two minutes down, and I've done nothing. So you know what? Screw it. I'm going in. I'm going in hot and heavy. Bounce a shell, that's nice. And look at the speed. Gravity helped. So, we found three of their tanks. Okay, I'm going to keep these guys lit up as much as I can. And let's see if I can take out the ISU. I'm going to use my decent gun depression, as I said. Peeking over, peeking over, and a boom. I took it from my troll, but it was worth it to take out that guy. And now we have to deal with the Tort and the WZ. Now, Tort's down to a one-shot pretty much. So you know what? I'm going to ignore the IS-3 completely. Sorry, the WZ-114. Uh, Bounce him anyway, so that's nice. As you can see, troll gun and trollish armor. How was I able to bounce that? I do not know. He can't get his gun down. It gives me time to reload my gun. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to take a hit. Oh, that's nice. So two nice bounces in a row. Okay, we took out their Tort. We took out their ISU. Two big guns down. Their Jaegeru. Sorry, not Jaegeru. Their Yak Tiger 8.8 is sitting at the back there, not really helping. This guy is kind of giving up, trying to kill me, which is always nice. Just going to aim in on this lower plate. But boom, there we go. And okay, come on, Emil. Let's get him. So we're going to push him back into our teammates, and he is gone. And uh, we got one tank over there, two tanks. Uh, what's the other tank? We're missing one tank. The Jaeger, sorry, the Yag Tiger is gone. Uh, I'm just going to swing around here and head on back. Okay. What have we got? Now, I do make a mistake here, that's for sure. <laughs> going to see what happens. It's quite funny. Anyway, uh, that's the guy I'd love to get rid of, the weakest tank. And, oh no, here comes a T-77, aiming in, aiming in. But look what I have here. Hello, Type 68. And I think that was a much better decision. Yes, I could have gotten more damage had I hit, hit the T-77. But then there would still be three guns on the battlefield. So, and he's all upset. He's like, what? How? How? I was unspotted. Nope, saw you. Dead, dead to rights. And I tried to write to him, but <laughs> because of my chat ban for a day, I got stuck in a terrible position. And yeah, so learn from Snug's stupidity. Don't do what Snug does. Don't write as you're fighting. <laughs> yeah, I figured we had it in the bag, so you know what? Oh, well. Really did not expect the T-77 to pop out there. Get a shot in here on the Indian Panzer. Oh, frick. 
should have aimed in a little bit more. Come on, guy. Get over here. We need your help. Come on. Get rid of the Panzer quickly. Come on. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. And I've got the arrow coming from behind. So, as you can see, it's coming closer, coming closer. So, I want to get away from him because he could absolutely clip me out. But there goes the Panzer. As you can see, I can trust the WZ-120. The Scepter has decided to climb the frickin' hill for no frickin' reason. Absolute silliness, if you ask me. Unfortunately, W took one hit. He also missed one shell, so that's painful. Took two hits, but he should out-reload him. I'm able to hit him, but will I be able to keep him alive? I don't think so. Okay. Well, no need. Yeah, I mean, Scepter, what are you doing climbing the hill there? <sighs> Some people. Anyway, what did I end up with? 2,763, 1,200 block damage. I will take that. Not quite a mastery, but yeah, that was my own fault. I could have done more if <laughs> hadn't stopped to say, yeah, you weren't. Stupid, stupid mistake. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed these games. Let me know what your favorite variant is. I'd love to hear from you. I do try to answer all my comments. I'll see you tomorrow. Snugs on Blitz, out.